Professor Belfrost's science class is back. Today, we did a private hospital PM and an arterial final hour. And the first video patient, then you need to see the video to check your actual correct or not. If you want to clarify the solution, or if you have any questions, just let me know in the comment section. Okay. This is the first patient answer. So, you are given percentage by mass of elements in the body of healthy human adult as follows Oxygen is 61.4% Carbon is 23.9% Hydrogen is 10.0% Nitrogen is 2.6% That is given that the total mass of a person is 75 kg And you are also given uh, before okay, um, the mass of hydrogen This is actually the hydrogen one okay, That is um, 10% of the total mass, so that is 10% out of 75 kilograms. This is 7.5 kilograms. And if you want to replace the hydrogen one to hydrogen two or deuterium atom, then the mass will double. Then the mass will fall. It means that you will gain the mass, which is uh, 7.5 kilograms. Okay, and that's the answer for the first question. Now number two is mathematics. We are about to uh, arrange the books, um, I mean novels and dictionaries. So we have uh, six different novels and three different dictionaries, and we are uh, assigned to uh, quiz them to select uh, four from six different novels and one from three different uh, dictionaries. So the dictionary must be placed. As shown okay so you have um, uh, the combinatorial six four means six out of four novels it is combinator the binomial six four then for the uh, uh, the, uh the for the that is for the novel for the dictionary then the uh, selection is three one okay the binomial three one the combinator combinator three one and because there are four positions that can be filled by the novelist, okay, and the addition must be in the middle, number three position, so there are four factorial combinations. So you just need to multiply them all and you get the number of ways to do this. The range is 1080 ways. That's the answer. Now, number three, it is a basic question, easy. So here's the depiction for you to make it clear what the question means before. So here's before collision and after collision. So at first, before collision, one of uh, those ball stationary and after collision, they both have their own velocity. So we can write the following equation. So half times m t squared plus half times m t t squared. This is both uh, the uh, after collision velocity. And it's also given in the uh, passage that it is uh, the kinetic energy of the collision is um, <coughs> uh, is 1.5 times larger than with a collision. So you have uh, square half times one half times mv square, mv to the square, and we can write down the equation. We are square so c t square equal three half c o square. And for the law of momentum conservation, we can also write down this equation. MPO plus the MPO equals MC1 plus MD2. And by squaring both sides, we get C O squared equals uh, the sum of C1 and C2 together squared. Or it means that C1 squared plus C2 squared plus 2 C1 C2 equals C O squared. The uh, result that we have before. So 2v1c2 equals c o squared minus 
q of q is squared and it is minus half q squared while for p1 minus p2 squared it is p1 squared plus p2 squared minus 2 p1 p2 which is actually 3 half q of squared minus uh, the negative of half q squared which is equal to 2 p squared we are about to find the difference of p1 and p2 so we just need to take a square root of the result so p1 minus p2 equals square root of 2 times p0 that's the answer for the third question and that's all today so video here's a fresh problem for you so it says that everything passes everything we use out and everything good so you need to always prepare yourself Okay, so thanks for watching. If you like to this, please give a like, comment, and share this video to your friends. And I'll be back. So keep watching, be thoughtful, and don't forget to check our um, website for new, for more materials, learning materials, learning resources, and at https colon for social share science to apply to dot com. And I will see you in the next episode. Goodbye.